I'm Cody with Low Range Off-Road and this is another how-to video. Today we are going to show you how to install a jack nut into sheet metal. Now, now I'm going to first go over what tools are necessary. You will need an impact driver, a 4mm allen socket, a hammer, torque wrench, and the jack nut tool, which is this guy right here, and this comes with the kits. Okay, and we're first going to show you, this is a jack nut. It's used to install things to sheet metal that you cannot access the back side. And as you go down and tighten the jack nut, it pulls the nut closer to the face and kind of opens up the wing so it holds. So you don't have to hold it on the other side. Jack nut screw, pretty simple. We are now going to move on to show you how to install it in sheet metal. Now you want to drill it with a 7 16 drill, which we've already done to help save us time. After you drill the hole, you are going to want to deburr it a little. You are then going to go ahead and install the jack nut. So you just gently set it in place and then you'll have to tap it in with a hammer. And once you have it installed into the sheet metal, you are then going to grab your jack nut tool, run your screw through it, Your first time you run your screw through it, you may have to use your impact drill to get it. And go ahead and set it down flush with the jack nut. Screw down the screw. And the purpose behind the tool with the jack nut is to hold it tight so that way it doesn't spin. And something else to mention that you want to be careful and you want to set this in by hand because you don't want to cross thread it because you will break the jack nut and then have to get it back out. And then at this time you are then just going to go ahead and tighten it down until the jack nut is all the way flush with the fender. Okay. Now as you can see, it has become pretty flush with the fender on the back side and as you can see it kind of opened up and that's what keeps it from spinning. And then at this time we are then going to move to the torque wrench and set the proper torque so that way it's set properly on the fender. And we recommend 9 foot pounds torque max. If you go beyond that, you run the possibility of stripping the threads out of the jack nut and then it doesn't work anymore. So we're then going to go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, we're at six. Seven. So right there's nine foot-pounds. Then after that, you can go ahead and remove your screw. You can install the jack nut, set it on the fender with hand tools. It just takes a little bit more time. Okay. And as you can see, you can go ahead and fill it and it doesn't move. Today we will be testing how much strength the jack nut is that we use to install in fenders or sheet metal. As you can see here, we have a jack nut installed into this hood and it's right on the other side of this black bracket and we're just going to add weight to the hood until the jack nut fails. We're first going to start off with the leaf springs and then move to the rotors and then the shock coops. Okay, we are now going to go ahead and start placing rotors.
Okay, we are still pretty stable. So we're gonna go ahead and add some shock hoops on. Push down on that front left corner. Yeah. Okay. So as we go to inspect the damage, you can see that the threads were started to pull through the jack nut and the little legs on the side have folded flat. And you can kind of tell that the metal actually started to peel away just a little bit. So this has been another how-to video with Low Range Off-Road. Please join us again next time.